Welcome to STEM Club. This is our final Antarctica STEM Club where we're going to be doing some really cool experiments all about ice. The first really simple way of looking at some ice is by putting it in some water. And you can see that it floats. And that to start with is very magical because actually most substances when they turn to solids get denser and heavier. But water, because of the way the molecules interact when the water freezes, it actually ends up lighter than water and it floats. That's one reason that helps us have so much amazing ocean life, because if water freezes, it freezes at the top, so all the fish can still swim underneath, rather than freezing at the bottom where the fish live. The second thing we're going to do is see if we can fish for some ice. And how we're going to do that is by sprinkling a little bit of salt on our floating ice cube and that helps it to melt a bit and then what we're going to do is put some thread on top of our ice cube and leave that for a few minutes and then when we pull it up ah, can you see it this is amazing. The ice has now frozen the stream in. So this is a really simple experiment that you can do at home. So that's amazing. So what's happened there is we've managed to freeze our thread inside our ice cube. And the science behind this is because when you add salt, it lowers the freezing temperature of water. So that when we put the salt on, it melts a little bit and then we can put our thread in so it goes in, but then it starts to freeze again because of the cold ice, which then traps the thread so we can lift it up. So why don't you give this one a go at home? Our final experiment, again, is a really simple one. And all you need for this is some ice and then either some different places or different materials. We're going to try putting some ice on some different coloured pieces of paper and seeing how quickly it melts. This is a really nice one to do outside on a sunny day as well, especially because when the ice melts, you know all the water's going to go outside and not all over your kitchen. So you can watch to see which one melts the quickest. You could also try adding different things to your ice. So for example, we've added salt to our ice, but you could try sugar or some other substances you can find in your kitchen to see if they make your ice melt quicker or slower. You will find even more cool experiments on the Twinkle website, so don't forget to have a look there. And do share what you've been up to in our Facebook group. You'll find the link below to our STEM Club sharing thread. We look forward to seeing you again soon for more STEM fun.